Well, just to start out, you know, I, you gotta give, uh, I thought that FAU team had some really good players. That quarterback, I told you going in, was going to create a lot of issues for us. Uh, he did in that first half. He's a hard guy to get on the ground. And that whitehead, that uh, lucky whitehead, he can play for anybody. they got some good players. Went in halftime, and, and, and again, I thought our kids handled extremely well. Uh, the leadership on the football team was tremendous. Uh, came out in the second half, uh, did what we had to do. I thought the defense played tremendous. The offense made plays in the second half and did what we had to do to go win that football game. So also told the kids that, you know, any, any great football team, it happened when the University of Florida won the national championship, we had to block a field goal in the fourth quarter to beat a South Carolina team that was pretty average. So a great football team at, pump, at some point during the year is going to have some adversity and we'll have to find a way to go win a football game. And guess what? That's what happened to us today. I thought they uh, responded extremely well in the second half and played extremely well. And to go out and win the way we did in that second half was critical, and I'm happy with uh, what those kids did and the way they, they reacted in the second half. So. Devin Johnson gets hurt early in the second quarter. Talk, talk about his not only his ability, but the, his heart and his grit to stay in the game and tough out a, a tough contest against him. Well, you know, he was hurting a little bit going in. You know, he's he's been banged up a little bit going in. Thank goodness we got a week off because this will give us the opportunity now to get the Devin Johnsons and we got a lot of guys that are banged up. But you know what? That's football. Football's a physical game. When you get eight games into the year, you're going to have some guys banged up, so it's going to be critical. We do a great job this week of getting people healthy, uh, continuing to work the guys that need work, and uh, get ready to go on the road and play the Southern Miss team here in a couple of weeks. But the, the open date comes at a great time, and, and we got to uh, get, we'll get better as a football team, no question. What was said in the, in the locker room, you know, kind of to when you guys were down? First well, yeah, the, the other thing, the only thing that was said was, hey, guys, just go do what we do. You know, let's go play. Uh, let's go play the way we're capable of playing. Uh, defensively, let's start tackling a little better. Let's start uh, getting them off the field on third down, which we can do a very good job of in the first half. And offensively, just make plays. You know, let's go make some plays and and uh, and just you, again, just do what we do. You know, play solid, sound football, execute, take what they give us. And again, in the second half, uh, you know, that, I thought our, you know, there's no no thing. I know our kickoff team hurt us with field position day. Now, that's the first time that's happened in a couple of years, and that's not acceptable. And it wasn't it wasn't as much the kicker as the guys covering. So. We got to go to work on that and get that fixed because that's totally changed the field position the entire game. I thought our punter punted the ball extremely well. Uh, he did a nice job. That guy was leading the country in punt returns, so we kept that uh, in check. But, uh, you know, our, we missed that day going short field goal. It wasn't a very good snap and it wasn't a very good hold. And we didn't execute, and then we got and, and to correct that kickoff thing because the, the, field, the, the, uh, the special teams change field position all the time. And you can't you can't have that in the kickoff return. You put your defense in that position because it's going to hurt you. It sure did today. Devin breaks the, the single game record for this school. Is it come to a point where he just can he start just surprising you week after week after week just how much he progresses so quickly? Yeah, I mean, he just he's a tremendous player. I mean, I like to sit here and tell you I knew that was all going to happen. I mean, you know, I felt like he was a, and I knew he's a really good football player. But for me to say I was going to, we're going to move him to tailback and get the production that we've gotten out of him, I, 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 didn't, I didn't think that. I thought he'd be really a good player. He's, a, he's not a good player. He's a great player. And uh, he just he's physical. He's got great ones with great pad level. He's got great ball skills. And he's a tremendous football player. I'm glad he's on our side because I sure as heck wouldn't want to, wouldn't want to have to tackle that guy every day. I think it was where Dale knocked the pass down in the end zone. And, uh, Went the other way. Changed, oh, changed, changed it tremendously. And I thought Taj made a great play on the fourth down in the end zone. Down, we had a couple of big time plays in the score zone down there that our guys Taj made one, uh, Daryl made one, and uh, you know, like I say, the defense in the second half played extremely well uh, and stepped up, made the plays we had to make uh, to go win that football. And the only thing that matters is, is the win. That's, that's what matters. When I mean, you get that win, you're eight zero. Everybody's happy, and uh, we're good to go. Coach, with me being eight zero and what Cato's doing with what. Well, we got a long way to go. We've got a lot of football left to be played. You got four weeks, and you know, you got four weeks in the regular season. You got a championship game that fifth week. That hopefully we play well enough. We got the opportunity to see if may possibly play in that deal. That's our goal. But uh, you know, we have to just go out and get better every day as a football team. We've done that to this point. You know, we've gone out every day. You guys all watch practice, and our guys practice extremely well. That can't change. You know, we can't forget what got us here. And uh, we just got to go out every day and work extremely hard as a football team and a coaching staff to get better. We'll do that. Coach, uh, Coach Parker's mentioned that he that he was looking at he thought the running tempo against you guys would probably work, you know, at least to start. How do you feel that, that, that their tempo, at least in the first half, kind of put you guys? Well, I thought you know I thought we had a little bit of issues with it. I think the second half we were fine. Mm -hmm. You know, bottom line is you get your tail off the field on third down. That tempo doesn't mean a whole hell of a lot. You know, put our offense back out there and it helps you. So. 
you know, we didn't get off the field well enough on third down in the first half. I thought we did in the second, which was good. So, but the, you, know, you got to give them credit. I mean, I thought that tempo helped them uh, a little bit in the first half, got us on our heels a little bit. But the second half, we made adjustment at halftime and came out and played well. Three long runs by, by Rockhead. Uh, did Cato change any of those down the line? He did. He changed, yeah, he changed at least one for sure. Yeah, he did. Penalties on the first half. I think you had five for 50 yards. It, Second half, you all didn't hurt yourselves. I mean, I think you had one that was row on a holding call on special teams, but you all didn't really get out of system in the second half, did you? We had the same damn crew we had at Akron. We had 30 or 20. We had 30 totals. We made, made great improvement from the Akron game, I guess. But uh, <laughs> that was good. Now, you know, it, penalty, we, you know, it's something I thought we, we made improvements on, and that was, that was good. Good to get a character check. Coach, you guys kind of won big in all your previous games. Well, anytime you, you know, anytime you face adversity, you love, you like to see how how, you, how your players react. And this is a good group now. They, they work extremely hard to to be really good, and they've overcome a lot of adversity. And we take great pride. There's not a more difficult program in America than what ours is. So when that adversity strikes and you got a little bit of it, guess what? You can overcome it. You don't worry about it. You just go play, and that's what they did in the second half. And that was that's great to see because you know, if you think you're going to go through 12, 13, 14 games a year and not have adversity. That's not the case. There's not a football team out there that at some point is not going to be in the same position we are or were today. And it was great to see our guys react the way they did. It seemed like Cato didn't have one of the best decision-making game and execution games as far as the passing game. But on the on the touchdown pass to Tommy, it looked like he was looking at McManus up top and was able to go through his progression. Is that one thing he's? Important? I thought second half he was he, he was tremendous. First half he had a couple of things, and and and, and we all, and all of us, you know, didn't offensively, defensively, all of us. Had a few deals there in that first half. We had to get fixed, but I thought second half he made good decisions and made a couple made, made a couple big plays on that one th uh, at the end of the game. There that third down conversion to keep the clock when we scored that last drive was a play we ran at Central at uh, FIU a couple times. He made a great play to get the first down there and uh, made some great throws. He made some great throws on to uh, McManus and some of those guys on his deep balls. So he played well. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I mean, I don't have any idea what how to, I'm kind of anxious to see how, how it turns out. You know, we'll see. But I think all of us, it's new, and uh, we'll see how it goes. I, you know what? At this point, you, know, you need to worry. You need to worry about where you are five weeks down the road. That's when it counts. And uh, somebody said Auburn this time last year, about a week ago this time last year, was 24th in America, and they ended up playing for the national championship. So those last four weeks, I guess what they say, they remember what you do in November. That's kind of when it counts. And uh, at the end of the day, you look up and see where you are. But uh, I have no clue. We'll see. What, Tuesday, I guess we're all kind of waiting to see how it shakes out. Okay. Thanks, guys. You'll have a great day now.